Hi everyone, it's Dash Dave here again and I'm back for another crafty video and this time we are going to make a Christmas version of this. So we've been making stuff to go in the Christmas journal and in the last video we made this um, little matchbox style um, notebook. Well, it's a giant matchbox, but never mind. It's a, a, if I was a borrower, it'd probably be giant. If I was a giant, it might probably be small. Sorry. Yeah, brain doesn't work. Don't don't ask me. Um. So and then I stuck. We stuck this down and we stuck this pocket in. Okay. So, um, what I wanted to do today is I wanted to also make one of these. Now I say also because for me it's also because this is on the same day as I did that last one. So slightly confused. So I'm going to make one of these. Now this is some. This is a little concept that I came up with. Um and. At the time of making this, I've not seen this made anywhere else, and I, I still haven't seen it made anywhere else. And whether that means it's because whether that means it's not been made anywhere else because nobody likes it, or because nobody watches my videos, so or what previously watched my videos. So, um, anyway, so what it is is it's got a little pocket here. Okay, it's got a little pocket here, so it's like a multi-pocket um envelopey thing. It's got a little place for putting a journal card there it's got another pocket here okay and it gets in better because it's got a po another pocket here okay so that's got a little pocket with a little window you can see that moving past that window there okay it has another pocket here okay and that's also got a window on it and we're going to make one of these together and we're going to try and make it a bit more Christmassy this time. So, I don't know actually remember what I called it. Six pocket, seven pocket thing. <laughs> Window, pocket, envelopey thing. So, guess what you're going to need. You're going to need an envelope. Now, this is a coffee dyed envelope. Envelope. You can um, use just a, a you know a plain one. It doesn't it doesn't matter. It's entirely up to you um, what you use. Okay, but what you will want is you want it to be sealed down. Now so this this is one that's been coffee dyed, so it might not seal properly. So we will seal it properly together. But what I'm saying going to say to you is, if you've got windowed ones that when you've coffee dyed them and then you've put them in the oven or put you put put them somewhere to warm to dry and what you might get end up with is this where the plastic has shrunk on it because this isn't really you know this used to be made of corn flour the cornstarch style um windows a long time ago now they're plastic um so what you might get is you might get a bit of Mel i'm melting i'm melting um <laughs> wizard of Oz style witch melted window so what you need to do for this is you're going to need to kind of just take your, your envelope apart because what we want is we want a nice window we want a window that we can see through not one that's all crinkly and all you're doing is you're just going to take it apart from time being i'm just going to show you how how to mend your damaged windows so you know, it could be a pain if you've got a damaged window oh yeah dave the old ones are the best so Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm just opening this up a bit. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to get this old bit out first. So if you should be able to pick it up at the corner somewhere and be able to pull it away. Don't worry about it, the plastic coming off in one piece because you're not keeping it. You're going to start afresh and have a whole new piece. Um, just make sure it's completely clear of the window area, the, the cutout area. If it stays stuck around the edges, it's fine. It doesn't matter. You don't have to pull all that bit off. And then what you can do is, where in the... Everything's just fallen off. Um, where in the last video we made some glassine. Do you remember we made some glassine? Because uh, we used it on our little window here. We made some glassine out of um, some sewing pattern tissue. What I, what I also wanted to say is you can also use it for things like this. So I've, here's another piece that I've got that I've made. Okay, now you could you, you can have it so that you've got use a bit of the you could 
have it so that you can see the text in it, or you can have it so that you don't see the text. Actually, I quite like it with the text in it. Um, and then what all you need to do is you just need to replace this this window. And then in order to do that, Dave, get a pair of scissors. Okay, we're just gonna snip on this bit here. We're gonna cut it down. I'm gonna snip on this bit here because we're gonna cut it down. I'm just gonna cut those to kind of cut off all of the waste that we're not gonna use. Um, I keep hold of the waste that I take off this. Remember I said in the previous video, you, you know, you can use use it and abuse it and throw it away and not worry about it because you're not spending lots of money on it. Um, I also, but I do actually keep it, keep all the bits that are cut off because I use it for other things. And I'll show you what I use it for shortly. So we're gonna use that around there. And all you need to do now is you just need to glue around the edges. Now, in some ways this looks different, but it also looks similar. So I'm just gonna glue around, oh, there's still a bit of window, see, old window. Move that. I don't know whether people call them a window pane in other parts of the world. So like my joke about it being a pane might not have actually landed. So if you're thinking, I don't know what he's talking about, it being a pain. Um, that's what I was talking about, it being a pain. So just smooth all of that out, stick that down, and then we go. You have just replaced your window. You could be a glazier now, you've replaced that window. Um, don't glue that down, Dave. So there we go, that's what you've got. So you can still see through it, so it's still just as see throughable as it was before um well, it's probably not as clear but it would look much more like an old style envelope than it would it does with the plastic window because when you when you coffee dye them obviously the plastic doesn't coffee coffee dye and then all you need to do is reassemble your your envelope and you've and you've got it's kind of back to being normal so i won't use this one because that needs to i need to leave that to dry so I'm going to leave it open, otherwise it'll all be stuck down. What I use my offcuts for, I use them for making bits of um, sellotape or sticky tape, so aged sticky tape. So all I do is put a bit of um, alcohol ink on them and then I, I do them like this and then I will just... Um, cut them into the strips that I want, or you could, they might already look like strips like this, and I just alcohol ink them, and then they're ready to go, and they look like faux aged sellotape, um, or sticky tape. I realise that in the UK we call it sellotape, because that's a brand, just like in America, Scotch is a brand. So, it's just another little tip, another little thing to do. So, what are you going to need to make this little pocket? This how many pockets do we have? We have one here. Yeah, you could technically have another one here. So you could have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can have seven pockets. It can be six or seven pockets. Okay. What you'll need is you need an envelope. Okay. So what we're going to do first is we're going to stick this envelope down. Maybe we need to have the glue open to be able to do that. It's always a good start, Dave. It's always a good start if you can get it to come out without it just suddenly flooding out. Oh, like you mean like that, Dave? Just like that. Just like that. No, no, just like that. Oh, um, yeah. Bit of channeling a bit of Tommy Cooper today. Um, not Mini Cooper, because that's a car. Or mini driver. That's also a car. No, it's not. It's a person. Shut up, Dave. I'll just go over here and just cry, shall I? <laughs> okay. So we've stuck that down. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to slice the very top of this off. Okay. Now, in order to do that, I will need a ruler whenever you are cutting with a ruler. A ruler. So you have to say it like that. It's like when you use tissue, you have to say tissue. A ruler and tissue. Anybody that used to watch children's programs back in the 70s in the UK will remember that everything was called a ruler and a tissue and some tissue. That's the, that's, 
especially if you were watching the BBC. Because they all spoke proper English like what I do in it. Okay, next thing to do is now you cut that, slice that top off, or you, that means you've just got you could open that envelope up, is you just want to glue these bits down. Okay, so I'm just going to glue them to that, that strip there. So I'm just going to put a little bit on, smooth it out. With this, um, with this glue, I find that I know less is more on old glue, but this particular one is even more less is more because otherwise what it does, it makes the paper very wet and then it it delaminates the paper when you, it'll pull the bits of paper apart. Anyway, that's what we have. Now, what you're going to do now is you're going to flip it over and then you're just going to fold it in half. So like this, and we are going to use a bone folder, Dave, because it's always nicer than using your dirty fingers. Yeah. So we've got we've folded that over, and then the next the next thing to do is you're going to open it up, okay, and you're going to fold um one of these over, okay. Now you can you can fold this way, but what you're going to do is you're going to be covering some of your window up. So what I like to do is fold this way and have some of my window exposed, exposed windows. Now, you could, if you look at this one, this one is, an, I think it's an inch and a half that I did that one. Oh, an inch and a quarter, okay? You don't have to be precise, really. This is just up to you. But I'm going to have it about there. What is that? Oh, it's about an inch and a quarter. Oh, it's just over an inch and a quarter on this one. So I'm just going to fold it there again. Fold it with my bone folder. Yeah, and then we're going to close it up and we're going to fold it again. But we're going to, again, we're going to fold it this way. I'm going to fold it over. And we're just going to line those two bits up. And we're just going to put a score line on there. And that is it. So what we're going to do is, you're going to, you're going to have to think about this now, okay? So if you're going to have this on here and you want to keep this bit open, then um, you are going to have to glue it down so you create a pocket. So if you look at this one, you're going to glue it across here and you glue, glue it across here. They all also made a divot out of this one, yeah? But I decided to keep this closed so it wasn't... What I didn't want it to do to be is if it had got a divot out of here and then you're pushing something in and out of this pocket here, you've got the potential to rip this corner. Okay, but you know, we can you can have it as a pocket or you might not you might might choose not to. On this one, I have the divot on this side so it didn't cause me such a such a problem. And the reason I didn't do a divot on this side is because I had a different style pocket on. So, but we're going to go for the seven pockets because I'm doing it for you guys. And you just want to show you what the true flexible potential, 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 potential is, Dave. Get you, enunciate, enunciate. Pretend you're on the BBC, Dave. Enunciate. And here is the BBC News. So, okay, no, the BBC News isn't here. So, if you were here for the BBC News, it's not happening. Well, not here, it's not. It might be happening on the BBC. Sure, Dave. So I'm just going to just horribly chew the edge of that because this paper isn't thick enough. Um, excuse me while I find a piece of paper that will I can reinforce my my divot with. Just rip a piece down. Just rip a bit off. Okay, so I'll put that in there, and then I'm just going to realign my divot and try again rather than so what you're doing is I'm separating it out so that I'm not could not cutting a divot out of this side and I'm just going to put that in there and try and line that back up again there we go so otherwise you, what it it just they try, try to use one of these to cut a single sheet of paper. It just ends up n noshing it. 
notching it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, don't ask me. Don't, please, please don't ask me to speak. <laughs> I can't speak. Don't ask me to Please don't make me speak. I can't speak. So anyway, put this bit in there. Just hold it there and then make this next divot. Okay. Now we're going to put a divot. It might not be in the middle, but it's somewhere in about. Okay, so there we go. So I've got a divot in here. Yeah. We've got, we're going to make this into a pocket. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to stick it down. I'm going to stick it so it comes com straight across here. So the pocket is going to be slightly short, slightly shorter this side. And that's to stop any ripping ripping going on up here. Okay. I'm just going to go across to there. And then level that bit up. Like I say, smooth it out. I've learnt to smooth things out with the finger I am not going to be using a lot of. So I don't, I'm, no, I'm not wiping it across the, my dirty finger across the rest of the thing. And there's a light, little light glue on that side. And then just hold those bit down until it grabs. And then we're going to do the same on this. So we're going to again make a little pocket. Here, a little pocket here. Little pocket, I mean, little line to make a little pocket. Uh, okay. The only thing I haven't done is taken a little divot out of that, which is almost impossible to do now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to. So, if you haven't made a divot and you're thinking, oh, I don't, I might, I would never get one of these cutters in that, in that little space, what you can do is you can just bend it down. If you just tease it down and you can bend it, you can stick it down like that. And then if you just stick and put a little line of glue underneath that, let's move it out with your little finger because that doesn't get involved quite so much. Especially if you're drinking tea with the Queen, you're going to have your fingers sticking out. Or if you notice that whenever I do something, for some reason my little finger sticks out all the time. Um, it's been pointed out to me. Don't you worry. Other people got there first to tell me. So, there you go. So it's just, you can just now see where your little your pocket is now. Okay. So, now what we can do is we can now start decorating and making things to go in it. So, these are cut out in the previous video and then they never used them. Okay. These are bits that were cut out in the previous video. So let's see if we can use those bits up. Let's try and use some some bits up, shall we? Um, let's see what else we've got. Let's get it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It's looking beginning to look a lot, a lot like it's a mess up there, actually, to be fair. So what we want is we want some slim things to go in here. So I was thinking maybe... It's because I'm a Londoner. I was thinking maybe something like this could go in there because that's nice and Christmassy. I'm just going to cut this off. So with the decorating, you're on your own. You can crack on and do whatever you like um, because that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Okay, cracking on and doing whatever I like. So, but I'm going to be doing it with you guys here. Oh, I might cut that bit out. Put that down. So this was a sheet of cardboard that I hadn't used. I, I think I bought it. Well, I bought it well before lockdown. Um, you know, so at least a couple of years ago. Um, maybe even more. I think I bought it in a sale. You know, when it's a sale and you just think, oh, can't resist that. I'm gonna have to have that. And even though you think. Uh, Actually, if you stopped and thought about it, you'd probably think, oh, I'm never going to use that, Dave. But, well, I am using it because I didn't think I'd use it, but I am. Right. What you want to make is, so in this one, this one was a, where is it? This one. This was actually a fragrance sample. It was a dupe fragrance sample thing. And if you notice here, I didn't actually make it a full pocket. I tore it down so you could fully see 
an open bit. Now you could do the same with, with that. You could do this with a tear down. You could do this with a tear down. However you like it, don't just think about having pockets with divots in them. You can tear them down and have a pocket. But, so right, what I was gonna say, so what you want to make sure is that whatever you make is no wider than the the bit that you are going to, the pocket that you're gonna be putting it into. Because there's nothing worse than spending a lot of time making something nice to go in a pocket and then finding out it doesn't fit in the pocket. So, so I'm gonna cut that down. So that's gonna be the bit that goes in there. Um, and should we, just for the sake of, um, of uh, what's the word? Um, uh, continuity, we're going to have the same, a, a similar sort of one in the other one. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that that's a similar sort of width. That one. Go there. I'm going to go to there. Get rid of that now while I'm, while I've moved it though. Okay. Doesn't matter. So there we go. So let's round off these corners. Otherwise, they, they end up getting dented and bent and all sorts of things anyway. So, like, oh, let's try not to throw that out of the way. Move the hole. And another hole. Ooh, I'll just drop that on the floor, just make sure that I find it again. Oh, excuse me, will I need to shot? <laughs> Not an attractive way to see me. <laughs> Sprawled across a desk. There, cool. We'll do the same for this one. Get all the bits of old paper out first. So, like I say, or like I said in the previous video, it's Two days after bonfire night here, so it's bonfire weekend, Guy Fawkes weekend, um, however you term it, depending on whereabouts in the in the world you come from. What you might think we celebrate Guy Fawkes, some people call it bonfire night. Uh, some of you never might never have heard of it, but it's where Guy Fawkes tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament, and for some reason, it's. A public it's not a public holiday as in you get time off but it's a public celebratory thing but also it is um Diwali so there's also that celebration going on as well let's go for a bigger hold now is that the right lump it'll do put that in there can do the same with that that's starting to get a bit squeaky now that uh, um, makes me shivers me timbers it does uh, so did i did i glue that one down no i didn't i did leave it open but it seems to have stuck itself Just get a blade in there there we go there we go pop it open that's fine okay so on this one i'm going to tear this one down because we're going to end this bit, this corner is going to end up getting really fluffy otherwise. So we're going to tear a, a notch in this one. Because we're going to keep it looking a bit organic looking like that. Okay, so we're going to have that in there. And that also lets the person know, it, know that there is something in there. People all know, think, oh, I'll interact with that. I, don't, I didn't realise there was something in there. So that means that you can see it so what i'll do is this just happens to be here so i'll use this because it's in the right place i'm trying to use up the, like the little scrappy bits of stuff that you leave lying around around your desk um so it's a bit like these uh the scrap buster challenges that are currently going on um i tried to bust my scrap as a go so that can go in there. This one I think I might decorate a bit more than this. So I might just put a bit of, I don't know, let's turn it into some kind of a journaling thing. Bit of this down the back of it. Bit of this. Okay, so 
got a tear near this line, I know that then this is going to be the right sort of width. I know that's probably too long now. Yep, it is. Put the tear down to about there. Stick that on the back. There we go. We'll make a little, it's a little secretive little journaling spot. Might tear it down a little bit more. Make it a bit narrower. So it doesn't completely obliterate the red. It's tearing it down. Okay. Well, I was just thinking, oh, I could just drink that coffee. Oh no, I've drank it. I've already drunk it. Let me open my water. Hang on a second. Apologies, I was feeling a little bit dehydrated. It's all this talking. I realise if I didn't have to shut up for a bit longer. Well, it'd be a boring video if I shut up for a bit longer, but if I shut up for a bit longer, I wouldn't be quite so dehydrated. Right. I used to have a glue bug, but like now I just randomly grab bits of bits of paper from around my desk. Maybe we could have a word across here. Maybe I could put, I don't know, let's try Christmas. Right. Cut that down to there. This is nice because it's got like lines I can follow either side of it, which means it's, it's got a better chance of it being straight, but there's no guarantee. And what I love is the fact that I've nearly used this entire sheet now because I don't like waste. I don't like my waste either, it's massive. <laughs> it's not massive. It's not as massive as it used to be anyway, Dave. Oh, that exciting news. I won Mr. Sleek Award at my Slimming World group yesterday. And having lost, I, I was nominated for, for by the group. I've lost two, two stone now, um, two stone by the way, just in case those people are watching from America, Canada, I don't know what, what you're using, um, are you imperial measurement in uh, Australia and New Zealand or are you still, um, or are you metric like we are in the UK. So, well, strange, we're, we're metric in the UK, except for when it comes to how much we weigh. Um, in which case, then, we suddenly revert to Imperial. But uh, our version of Imperial, which means that we end up saying stone, which nobody knows, um, except for us. Just cut that out nicely, and the moments is on the No, it's Christmas, it's gonna have to be Christmas. I could have Christmas moments, but I can't have both, so. Um, yeah, so we, so uh, two stone is 28 pounds, so I've lost that in the um, last couple of months, um, and um, I've lost in total now 12 stone, which is 140, 168 pounds in total. So uh, that's a fair amount. That's, that's me and a whole other person. <laughs> so let's find what I've got in here. Let's have a bit of this because that's Christmassy. It's that kind of like well, it's coppery tones, but it's still Christmassy. And I'll fold it over. I like it because it's kind of fall, it it splays apart, not falling apart, splays apart. So yeah, I won the Mr. Sleek Award. Um, you kind of had to like just stand up and explain about like what you what your weight loss was, and you know because I, I go every week, I'm like a main player, a main um, player, main participant in the group, and I'm part of the social team. And, so I weigh and do all the pay and everything. So I see say, see people every week, and it's kind of a just of a kind of a, a tip to tip of the hat to you know people for 
coming and it makes people feel a bit more enthused and um and and only people that stay to group can win it so so a lot of people pay and then leave and which you don't really see the point of because like that's like having a gym membership and never going so um just going to wait use some of these scales 5.95 just to use some of these scales is a lot of money so um you could use your own at home there we go so it's got like this little tassely thing on the top so that's that's quite fun and interesting I'm going to stick that in there and then you can you should be able to see that but so if you just have to un, unsticky that bit there we go I'll put that in there it through the window as well. There we go. So I've got those two bits done so maybe it needs something on here. I'm going to use a bit more of this because you know I mean I'm getting excited about using this thing up. I've had this for like I say a couple of years and at least a couple of years. Not used it prior to, to today. Today I've used most of this up now. Special trick. Oh, hello, Dave. Don't do that. Don't chop it all to pieces now. I'm going to edge this. Now, I never edge things in other colours. I always use um, brown. I, I don't know. I feel I'm going to do this in red. Look how unused this is. <laughs> it's distressed oxide. I'm going to edge this in red distress oxide because I can and I will and you can't stop me because I've done it now anyway so it looks silly if you did stop me now so I'm going to go around there try not to make a mess of the bits that I've already done you know when like you put your finger in the bit the wet bit which is usually me I just look my finger in the wet bit all the time yeah i'm gonna put that on there but i think it needs something else what else does it need i mean it might need a bit of maybe a bit of i know it's um brick paper but i think i'm gonna use this it's best look like brick and i'm rip so I'm ripping up. Right, okay, let me just go through this because I know that the other people get confused by this, okay? And I know I've explained this before, but I'm going to do it for, for the sake of those people who've never watched me before. I'm going to do it for you, okay? If you want to get this white edge from ripping card, okay, you what you need to do is you need to decide which bit you want to keep. Now, I always keep the, the stuff that's in my right hand, okay? So if I want to keep this part and have a white edge to it, what I do um, is I rip up, okay? And what you're doing is as you rip it up, you're pulling this part of the paper off the surface and therefore you get a white edge. Whereas if I now start to rip down, I will get a cleaner edge. I mean, it'll still be a, 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 a ripped line, but I won't get that white because the white now has switched to the other side. So keep it in your right hand and rip and pull up and you'll get a white edge. Keep it in your right hand and rip down and you'll get uh, just a colored edge. And that's the way to remember it. Okay, but if you could, if you're doing it the other way, so if, you, if you're a, a left-handed person, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna rip up. So whatever's in your left hand, and you rip up with your right you can the the stuff on the left will be white and if you then rip down you'll get a colored edge that's the way to remember it so just just where wherever you whatever hand you're holding in yeah it's the ripping up will give you a white edge and the ripping down will give you a, a colored edge so that's just something just something of note. Yeah, I'm gonna put that on there. 
think it needs to be a little bit smaller than that though. Okay, so about here, I think. We'll go all the way to the end and then I can rip it down from there, make it shorter. this bit up and put that on there I think that will be nice do that like that and what I might do then is because I've done that one with the red edge I'm going to do this one with a green edge I'm going to use again I'm going to use my distress oxides because I hardly ever use them I hardly ever use them hardly sorry I had to say it again because it was hardly in Hartford, Hereford, and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly ever happen. Oh yeah, I like that. I don't know why I don't use the oxides. I think um, uh, there is that whole thing of it. They feel, they do feel a little bit um, chalky, and uh, it's the texture of them. Um, but I don't mind using a little bit of them. I like I like how they go though. I bought them because I like the way you know when they they react with water. I like the way that that, that is. How would it look if I put a tiny bit of green on the the end of oh, green? This is red, Dave. Tiny bit of red on the end edge. Is that too much? Am I going a bit mad now? Putting too much detail into it. Stuff that people won't see. Stuff that people won't care about. I don't know. Tune in next week to find out more. So no, I'm gonna put that definitely gonna put that on there. I think it would lend itself to being that way, though, because it's got that slight divot in that end. So I'm going to glue this down now. I've decided I'm using it. I quite like the back of it actually. I could have used the back. And my brain still keeps saying, no, it has to be red or green. It can't be any of those. Which we all know is not true. Because you can have other colours. You can do whatever you like. It's Christmas. You can do what you like. I love Christmas. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Don't sing that again, Dave. You've already scarred enough people. There are people now that just... I bet there's people that like start twitching now whenever that music gets played. Um, scarred by my singing. When... Um, <laughs> when Christmas attacks, that bang in the background was not Christmas attacking, by the way. That was a firework going off. Have that on there. What I thought we could use as well is we might use some of my washi tape. So I've made I've made washi tape a long time ago. I've made a, quite a few videos on making washi tape, and I thought what we would use we could use is some of this washi tape. Um, so this was just using um, acrylic paint, but I thought it was quite Christmassy colours. A bit like that off. I'll put that up again. Hello, Worcester. Have you come to say hello? Have you come to say hello or to say, Dad, tell them to stop making banging noises. Is that what he was saying? Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, thank you for that. Bit of cold, wet nose on the on my side. That was beautiful. <laughs> that felt amazing, Worcester. Not. Oh. 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 So this is, like I say, I'll link it, try and remember to link it in the description so that you you know I've, I made this, but I think I'm going to stick this on here. And then I'm going to tear this down a bit. Um, and also it'll strengthen that, that spine nicely. The best thing about this is because it's homemade um, washi tape. It's made with um, masking tape and therefore it, it sticks. It's not like the stuff you buy in the shops where it doesn't actually stick it down for two, sorry, stick it down, turn your back, 
turn around, oh, it's come unstuck again. So it's not like that. So maybe I want to have that on there in the background. And we can have something that goes over the top again. I might put a similar sort of effect to in here where I just use some strips of fabric to hold it down. But I don't know whether I've got anything that's Christmassy. I don't really think I've got any Christmas fabric to be fair. This is kind of, I mean, I'm only using this as a tenuous link because it has a bit of uh, um, green in it. All right, well, let's use a bit of this, Dave. Let's chop that down. Right, okay, I'm going to pink its edges. Although now that I use these for paper, for goodness only knows whether I should cut fabric. Well, it did. It did. It's fine. And we're going to cut, cut that down like that. Right, this is where I'm going to be introducing other colours into it because I don't have any red and green fabric. I'm just going to do that to stop it fraying on the edges. Don't mind it fraying anywhere else, but it's the the the, the ends that I don't want it to fray on because then it all starts to unravel and becomes unstuck. So I'm going to use that bit there, I think, and maybe that bit there. Yeah. So right, I'm going to cut that up like that. That and then cut that off like there, or there ish. There. I'll stick that on there, and then that'll be one tucked bit. Yeah, I'll just stick that down with a bit of three and I find three and one help really glues fabric down nicely. I would it would be really nice to use if you actually get it out because because you hadn't forgotten to put the lid on, Dave. There we go. It's coming out now. Bit of trying to raise your voice at it, but you know, a bit of a few stern words and it'll come out eventually. So we all come out eventually. So put that on there. Making myself laugh now. Um somebody has to. I'm quite a quite a happy child. I'll uh, I'll entertain myself. Thanks. So we'll put that there. Do that. Now what it's saying? Stand. It wants me to stand up. It's not judging me with telling me to breathe. It's now telling me to stand up. I need to cut a bit more off that. Down, then that'll be two little corner tucks for our what whatever we're gonna make to go in here. Maybe I should have made the journal card first, but never mind. I'm all for the doing the stuff differently. I can always cut it down a little bit if it hangs over the edge of too much. I might give that a bit of a chomp. Give that a bit of a chomp. There we go. So that what I'll do is that's that's given us a couple of tuck bits there to be able to put a card into. So do I want to have that in the background? Yep, I quite like that. So we'll edge it. I'm going to edge it with a bit of red. It's a good opportunity for me to use some different colours. You know, they, they get a bit jealous, the, the Tim Holtz um, inks, because they think that, that vintage photo sees all the parties, it gets out all the time, it's always out. Well, it probably gets talked about, to be fair, that. It's always out, that. That vintage photo is always out. Dry as an old husk now. But it is. I use it so much, it is dry as an old husk. But like I said in the previous video, I think it was the previous video, it might have been this video, who knows, it's all blurring into one, but it's a bit like my life. Oh, another thing's just fallen off. Um, I, it's, uh, 
I have ordered a new one, so I think I'm going to put that there. Else I'm going to do that. And I glue it down. Just taking care to get all of those bits that stick out on this because otherwise they'll, they, they're the bits that end up getting bent. Glue it all down, get it nice and sticky. We all like to get a bit nice and sticky every now and again, don't we? Steady, Dave. Just be careful where your mind is going now. Um, I've got another song spinning through my head now. I've got, uh, for some reason, I've got um, Silver Bell. Silver bells, it's Christmas time in the city. Wish I could sing, ring a ling. <laughs> Everybody else wishes I could sing, jing a ling. Soon it will be Christmas day. City stoplights, pretty stoplights, flashing bright red and green. In the air, there's a feeling of Christmas. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I just suddenly decided I'm going to make this, give this a red edge. And I, I thought, I, I won't tell you, I'll just do it. No, I just completely forgot that I, you were even there. I was singing to myself. Um, apologies and all that. I might come in a bit more with this here. Off the back of it. Oh. I quite like that. Oh, I quite like it. Indeed, I do. It's never too late to give it a bit of an ink, even after you've stuck things down. Yeah, well, that's that. I'm, I'm not, I know that that's kind of quite messy for me, and I'm, I'd be like, oh, no, we can't do that. But you know what? I don't like, don't care. I'm doing it. It's happening. Just rub those bits in. A bit of mottling going on here, I think. That's what I'm trying to aim, aim for. But it might just look muddy in a minute, but never mind. You know, something I quite like that. Go a bit on the outside. So for me, thing has gone all dry. It's all gone dry and husky. Husky, no, husky. Husky's got nothing to do with Christmas. What are you talking about huskies for, Dave? No idea. Oh, sounds like somebody's been shot every time they... Fireworks, I just think these days, they're not about... When I was little, fireworks used to be about being pretty lights in the sky and twinkly and the ones... I used to love the ones that used to go up into the sky and crackle and you know and like lots of different colors and rain down in those kind of but now it's all just about like how noisy you can make it so i quite like that mock mockling mockling that mottling um i'm gonna do a bit more of that i like it that much I'm here for it. Sick of, sick of hearing people say that now. I'm here for it. Um, but I said it. I said it anyway. Right. I don't think this is going to fit in there. I don't know. Maybe that that inner line might. Cut this down. Fussy cutting without the the scissors. Oh, um, the Tim Holt scissors. You know they need to be glorified and worshipped, and well, they should be at the price that they are. So, um, the other pair, the ones, the smaller pair that Brian uses for fussy cutting. So, 
when I bought mine, we I bought one of each size. Look, they were on sale. I can't remember where they were from. Um, they were like half price. Um, and he bought some at the same time. And his are well were blunt, but like apparently if you can cut some tin cans, like not I don't mean like the ones that you get your food in. I mean the ones that you get soft drinks in. If you cut them, that resharpens them. Well, he's resharpened my ones because he'd also blunt my, blunted mine one as well. Oh, I can't be brilliant because he did. He has been blunting them, cutting out my fussy cutting. So. But apparently that's what you do. Who knew? Oh, oh, that won't go in there. Will it go in that one? Will it? Oh, it will. How perfect is that? It was like it was meant to be. Right, I'm going to give this a... I want Dave decide the colour before you start colouring it. Yeah, we're going for the green. Possibly should have been a more of a bluey colour because the, the writing is more bluey coloured. But you know what? I don't care. I'm sat here thinking, I really could do with a wee. But like, I was thinking maybe I, sh I shouldn't tell you that. But it's too late. I've already, already have. Remember I said I have no filter? That's the reason I have no filter. Well, that's a demonstration, that's not the reason. A demonstration of my uh, no filter. So, I've often told rooms full of complete strangers that I need a wee in that way, announced it. So, I do, like, I feel like I really need a wee. I can't do anything about it because, like, this, uh, it, as anybody, well, not every, anybody, but most people that know, that know me, most people know that know me know that I can't just I can't do with the editing of things. I just have to kind of go with it and just keep going until the the whole video is is done. I don't do I don't do editing. I, you know why I don't do editing? I just don't have time. Because I, I work a very demanding full time job. If I edited it as well, edited it as well, as well, as well, as well I wouldn't um. You wouldn't have a video to watch, so you just wouldn't have time to do it. So, and last night I was making things. I was making them for for people. So I'd I've been I'd been commissioned to make some of my little paper flowers, which I posted on my Facebook page. Well, I usually make giant paper flowers, but this, this person wanted me to make. The, tiny paper flowers um which were very little and I, have, I would have shown you but then i have no idea where they are so um, them back. oh right brian's put them in his bag so i can't show you now so um because he's taking he's taking them to the person to see them so um yeah if you, if you uh, like brian's gonna go and fetch them and i'll show you what, the, what i've done and then like you can see another Another string that I have to my bow. Well, I only have two strings. I don't even have a bow, to be fair, let's face it. So. I don't know why I've suddenly changed to using the stick when I've been using the whack. Oh, never mind. I'm here for it. Oh, shut up, Dave. Stop saying that. <laughs> stick that down there. Well, just thought, you know what? I haven't used this any bit of sellotape yet. Where shall I stick that? Oh, so the flowers are here. So these are what, are what I've made. I won't show the box they're in because they're in an old ink box. So these are the ones that I've made. And then this one is a hand-painted one. So the other two are just made out of cardboard and this is one of the ones that is hand painted. So there we go. So that's another thing that I, I do. I have thought about maybe doing a video on making flowers, but I'm not sure whether people want that. So, so far I haven't I haven't done this as such and so and so forth. Etc. Thanks Brian. Thanks for doing that. This, I see this is the reason why I didn't show the box, because it's just says HB instant ink. So, 
but they fit nicely in there so it's perfect and it's not it's not a gift so i'm not like i'm just shoved it in an old ink box to give it as a gift it's somebody wanted me to make them for the, her wedding but she wanted a sample first so i think i'm gonna stick that in there i think that might be perfect does it need a little no because i cover it up i do let's put that in there Okay, right, we need something to go in here now. So, oh, and we haven't got one in this pocket either. So we need two other tanks to go in. Oh, three tanks to go in the other pockets. I want to find somewhere for my my faux. So I'm gonna give it a bit of a wonky edge. Because we all know that sticky tape is part of Christmas. It appears on most gifts that we give. Um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna have it like that. Oh, oh. Sorry, the, the moaning you can hear in the background is what's um, it, it, It's not keen on the fireworks, to be fair. I, I don't know many animals that are keen on fireworks. Um, but, and that's why, you know, I don't, don't begrudge people setting them off. It's just when it goes on all year. Um, feel sorry for the animals because you know it's not, it's not normal is it it's not in nature they're bred to like be used to loud bangs going off all the time because uh, that's usually a sign of danger so, so yeah so he's, he's not a fan like I say I'll stick that on there in fact it's probably the wrong way around oh no it's fine it'll do on there. I don't know why somebody got louder when I did that, but I did. It's all part of the joy of the fun and the interest. So what I might do is I might use that as a little um, thing. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'll tell you in a minute. When, when I finally get a clue of like what I'm talking about, I'll let you know what I'm talking about as well. <laughs> Sorry, Brian's apologising for not getting him, getting Worcester to be quiet, but like it's not his fault, it's not Brian's fault, it's not Worcester's fault either, really. It's just. I'm just trying to get him to lay quiet after his last night. Yeah, Brian's yeah. saying he'd just like him to like lay quiet like like he was last night. Well, when we, I was making those flowers last night, he was uh, he was nice and quiet, but. It okay. wasn't it was just laid outside the, by the door, did yeah, it? Was, it was laying outside. When it was saying laying outside by the door, or just don't just in case somebody's thinking it was probably <laughs> we were being unkind. <laughs> outside, did, no, we mean outside the craft room yeah. door, which um, is like a foot away. Yeah, <laughs> the cra my craft room is not very big; it's about a foot away. The craft room door, but he, <laughs> no, he's not. He's not having it. But then again, last night it was a bit quiet. It was a bit noise. Uh, sorry. A little bit quieter for fireworks than it is tonight. They're very close tonight. Yeah, and, and like Brian's just said, they're, they're very close tonight, the fireworks. So, um, so he's a bit stressed by them, to be fair. So. But, you know, it's yeah. fine. Had lots of attention. Yeah, yeah. apparently he's had lots of attention. So oh, Brian has probably been downstairs giving him attention. So, fussing and... Um, so that, I quite like that on the back as well, I don't know whether I want to cover that, I think I'll have that in there, I might just give this a bit of a, of an inky go over, because that's a, that's, because that's a technical term, an inky go over, oh, may, maybe gone a bit too heavy handed with the red on that one, never mind, a bit of water on it, a lot of Oh yes, that's true. We'll, ox we'll oxidise it. Brian's just said, put, put a bit of water on it and I'll oxidise. That's very true. So now I'm going even more heavy handed now for the full effect. For the full on oxidisation effect. Right, a bit of... Don't get everything in the... In the way at the same time. Do that and then mop it up with a, like a tap of 
Oh no, Brian's just offered me a microfiber cloth and I can't stand the feel of them. I could wet it first, you like? I don't mind, yeah, Brian's just said he could wet it first because I don't mind them when they're wet. I don't mind them when they're wet, I just don't like the feel of them when they're dry. They make me go, oh, 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 and didn't like the feel of it, we'll know what I mean by blah, 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 blah. So, I quite like that. I think I want it a bit more. You know, this is when you ruin it. You know when like you watch somebody do something and you think, oh, that looks really great, oh, I love the way that, that, and then they they do a, a bit more and then they go past that point and make it a mess of it. I did have a cloth oh, up there. It's a very dirty cloth. We won't talk about the state of it. It is only used. It's vintage photo all over it. So you know what I'm saying? I need some more vintage photo. I'll I hope perhaps out. try rinsing out what's already on the cloth. I like that. I like it a lot. Just dry it out now, otherwise it'll be all horribly crinkly and wet and not very nice and the I don't mind the way it's got made the back of it go either. Always better if you hold it up Dave but don't get your fingers burnt by this stuff, by this thing. Okay, dry enough to go in the thing at least. A little bit damp, is it still a little bit damp? Yeah, might just, right, I'm just going to get the cloth back into shot, don't judge, no judging, no judging here please. It's a bit like a snowstormy type effect it's given it, so. Yeah, that, that, that. A double oxidized. There we go, I think we'll have that in there. And you've got that nice wreath behind for like a bit of a surprise. So there you go, you can see that there's something behind it will make somebody interact with that. So remember I like things to look quite junky and this is a junk journal after all. So and now I need to make I need to make something to go in here, I need to make something to go in the top here, and something to go in the back here. So Again, I'm just going to go for making things that are quite easy, quick and easy to make. So we're going to try and use, I'd like to use the whole of this sheet, entire sheet up. So, I know we're missing part of this, I'm just trying to straighten this up. I don't mind that having just that bit of the seam. What I might do is just straighten this completely up. Take that bit off there. Maybe the same amount off that side. Oh no, it's not, that's not straight, Dave. That edge. The edge is there. Now that we know that that edge now is straight, that straight, that edge will now be straight. And once I've straightened it, if that makes any sense. No, it didn't. I mean, it's fine. As I was saying it, I thought, no, nope, this makes no sense whatsoever. I'm going to round off these edges, these corners. I mean, round off the edges. No, that, that, that corner as well. This is perfect for these smaller arms, that little thing. I think that was only a pound, I think. So, and then I'm going to do a bit of, because it's red, I'm going to do green on the edge. That's fine on the back, I'm happy with that. So I might put, I don't know, clip, maybe clip those two together like that. And you've got a bit of jingle magic going on. Um, what shall I use? I could, could you pass me a, no, sorry. Uh, what's in the, in the 
and the rusted ones. Oh, another firework part. I'm not doing this like for the nervous disposition. Apologies. So anybody that's ever nervous disposition don't look at my craft room, I would say that. I wouldn't have it's just all collapsed. Sorry? I said I wouldn't either, it's just all collapsed. Alright. And the, the Brian's side is all collapsed as well, so it's a, it's a stone. Don't know why that's in there. There we go. This is what I wanted. Some rusty paper clips. I've got like a pile of rusty things. That's a nice bit of rusted metal there. Not not for this, but I might put, ooh, I might put a, rust, a couple of rusted jingle bells in. They don't jingle, obviously, when they're rusted, but they look nice. That's quite nice as well. <laughs> That's nothing to do with rusting either. It's quite nice. I might have it in there. Oh, that might go in there nicely. And then this, I thought... Sorry, I was in the process of cutting this down as well. Finish one job before you start another day. Yeah. Why'd you do that? Yeah. And then cut this bit down so that that's right. Nope, except for you torn it there, Dave. Mm -hmm. Never mind, we'll make a feature of the tear, shall we? In fact, actually, I'm going to tear the whole of that edge down. Remember, I'm ripping up to make a, a white edge. I might just tear the whole thing out. Well, not the whole thing, but like... Tear all those sides down. You know, like they say, there are no mistakes in craft, just happy accidents. That there instead? No, I'm going to have that in there. With that, oh, actually, do I want that with that? Oh, maybe that with that. All right, okay. Let's get the red. Just colour around the edges of this. It's fine, it's got Dear Santa written on the back. We could have that with that. And we'll use a paper clip on there that in there and then we can have we need to make the tags there so we'll not go in there I know we'll lose it if it goes all the way down but yeah it's a bit a bit tight that I have to put the edges off literally I am trying to use this whole thing on bit of card so that I don't have any of it hanging around. Snap that out, that bit there, that bit, because like this is the problem, we buy these things and then I will tell you now that this would then all just go into the scraps box to use up and it wouldn't get used because I forget it was there and then it wouldn't get used. So now, oops. Sorry, sorry, Brian. Just, just threw something at Brian. Not threw it at him, but like, it's, uh, it fell off and fell on him. So. Very mad at it. Not move in your direction, but no. fell in your direction. So. Oh, that's made me jump as well. That snap. So it was the paper trimmer. He just shut the pa paper trimmer. It made me like, made me jump. I'm going to put that on there, like that. Oh, I'll stick that to something. Right, let's stick this down so that it's completely covered on the back. Which side is nicer? That, that side's nicer. So, fully stick the whole thing down. Like that, get my spreader tool, flatten it all down, and then 
I've cut it out. So I don't know if it's glue, Dave. Don't use don't use scissors with don't use your Tim Holt scissors with glue. You know that. Even you guys know that I don't use my Tim Holt Tim Holt scissors with glue. I don't use I my they're virginal basically my Tim Holt scissors. They've been unsullied by any dirty craft. A complete polar opposite to myself. They are unsullied whereas I am sullied. Is, can you can you be sullied? I don't know. Is, is solid is sully an opposite of unsullied? I don't know. I thought sullied was somebody in um Monsters Inc, but there you go. Anyway, that's true. There we go, that's that. That's nice. That we just need to re-ink those edges now. But we had it in green, didn't we, Dave? Yeah. Just remember I'll cut this down. I'm really sorry if you're tidy crafters. As you can see, I am not. Not real. <laughs> yeah, we're we're a bit bit suspicious of people that are, <laughs> are too too tidy in their crafting because um, you know. How? How? Yes. If you're if you've got time to tidy, you. Definitely not got time to craft. Uh, That's my ultimate how. How on earth? I'll pop that in there. That can go down there. That'll stick out. Oh, that sticks out nicely. Perfect. And then on this bit, just need to make something to go here. Oh, that thing nearly fell off again. So, um, and. I know that I'm, my, I've just checked my phone. My phone is running out of battery as we speak. So I need to crack on and get this finished. So what am I gonna put in here? That's too long. Oh, I might have to keep that for something else. That can go in the bin, Dave. That's just a piece of rubbish now. Oh, is that all I've got left of that? It is. Oh, cripes. What am I gonna do now? I'm just going to have to have a piece of coffee dye or something, I think. Oh, there's that. that. Let's just use a piece of this. We're going to have this in here in some way. I'm going to cut this down. It's going to be there. And it's going to be there. The tap dancing you can hear in the background is not um, Brian. Um, it's, it's not Fred Astaire either. It's Worcester. Um, He's just arrived again. Like a bad penny, he keeps coming back. He's like a beautiful bad penny. So I'll just, I will just clarify. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, have the last word. Worcester, yeah, Worcester likes to have the last word. So, what? You have a problem? Oh dear, so Brian's just threading a journal, his thread's just broke, broke, broken. Oh, sound like him now, broke. I did have another one of those, oh it's there, another circle. So what I thought is I put these back to back on the end of here and that would be a nice little grab for it. So there we go, that's perfect, so that's what's going to go on there. I might put those jingles somewhere, I don't know where. Uh, you're gonna have to move, Worcester. Honestly. Desperate for a wig. <laughs> Desperate for a wig. <laughs> no, I I am, not him. <laughs> Brian, Brian's just said he's been. I don't care about him at the minute. I care about me. I'm gonna I am gonna wear. <laughs> um right, we're gonna put that there. And then we're going to get on with it. So I just need a brush. This will do. I'm no longer being picky. I don't care. I am so. <laughs> I'm thinking, uh, this is, can I get to the end of this video without like wetting myself? I don't know. I'm actually yeah. jigging my leg at the same time. Um, <laughs> so oh, all the hairs have come out of this brush, but you know, I've got a whole. 
I don't care going th thing going on at the minute. Why don't you just pause the video? Is that because I don't want to, I'm just saying to the, the lovely people, I don't want to be editing. <laughs> um, Can't you just pause and restart it? No. Oh, okay. Well, I can, but like, I, want, I don't like, I can just pause and restart it, but like then that's like, in my head it's still editing and I just don't, I've, I've kind of got this thing where I can do all of these things in one take and I don't need to edit. <laughs> so... It keeps you focused. I tell you something <laughs> now. I when when I passed my driving test, I was desperately needed a wee, and it kept me focused. Apparently, it's very good for you if you want to pass an exam. You should be desperate for a wee. Uh, don't, obviously, don't try me on that because <laughs> that might not <laughs> might not, it might not go right. You might not. <laughs> Might not get the desired the result. Going up. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'd be more like they'll more like to wet themselves. <laughs> oh, that's that's the. Fail my exam and wet myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, if you fail your exam and you wet yourself, don't blame me. Um, but it's it helped me pass my test because I was very focused on like right, you've got to do this, you've got to get it right. You have no time to have a, a meltdown about like not. Not doing very well. You have just got to do this. Do it in one take, Dave. So, my so it kept me focused. Passed my driving test. It was great. The guy, the the examiner was like, "I'm pleased to tell you." I was like, "Yeah, okay, that's great. Thank Save you. It. Yeah, thank you, thank you." I'm like, he says, "No, no, no. I think I think you've uh, you've misheard me. I, I I'm telling you, you've passed." I was like, "Yes, yes. I'm sorry, but I'm desperate for a wee." <laughs> And he said, well, you drove very well. Yes, because I was desperate for a wee. <laughs> so, okay. So that's what my, I failed it the first time. And I blamed not needing a wee for it. So, <laughs> no, it's not that. That wasn't the only reason. <laughs> I was too nervous the first time. So, so I'll just put that on there. Put those two together. Probably not going to get a chance to put the jingly things on because I'll have wet myself by then. <laughs> and put a little bit of colour around the top of here. We will use Did red because it's. The of your next video. <laughs> I didn't wet myself and maybe very just a bit. tad around the tad around there. That's great. That's fine. That's all done. That's done. That's bish bash bosh, and put it in there, and it's done. Excellent. So, didn't get the chance for the tassel bits because I was. I am going to put them on here, but I've got to go. So, <laughs> so anyway, put these back in the in their box. Oh, there's always time for Tim Holtz. So anyway, that's it. So this is what we've made. So I don't know how long we've been going for. It feels like an absolute eternity now. So. <laughs> Now I need a wee. So, um, too much information for you, but you know what I'm, I'm like, caring and sharing. Um, so, <laughs> I'm definitely oversharing. So, um, yeah, so this is what we've made today. So, I hope you like it. I hope you'll give it a go. It's so simple to do. I hope you'll try replacing your uh, melted plastic with the glassine. And, um, and you'll give all the other things a go. Make some faux sellotape and all of that. So anyway, thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will see you all again next time. Um, my name is Dash of Dave. Please like and subscribe. Um, and I much, much, much really appreciate <laughs> not able to talk anymore. I'm desperate. <laughs> so I will see you all in the next video. You all take care. <laughs> I've really got to go now. Thanks very much. Love you all. Big hugs. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And you all take care. Take care. Bye. Bye.